Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create these colorful gradient stroke animations in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make these. Alright, so here I am in After Effects and we'll begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. So I learned this technique from this guy called Oli and he's a very amazing guy. I will put a link in the description if you want to check out his channel. Now the basic idea of this is to create a path. So I'm going to select the pen tool and it's completely up to you. you can create whatever kind of path you want. But for this one, I'm going to add a little bit of grids something like that now let me just quickly set this to 100 and let's make some space so i'm going to click somewhere around here then let's click over here and one at this point and one at this point and let's close the shape by clicking over here now we can add curves to this by simply holding down the alt key and if i click and drag you can see that it will create these handles so i'm going to just drag them something like that and let's do the same thing over here as well hold on the alt key and just click and drag like this and let's hold on the alt key and do it here as well like that so now here you can see we have this infinity shape and let's turn off the grids and everything perfect now on this one i don't have any fill so we are only using the stroke so fill is set to none and we have this stroke now you can play around with the width whatever you want let's set this to 20 for now now in order to make this into a stroke we can do some things and first we can add a trim path so go to add and let's add a trim path now under the trim path you can play around with the start and end property like this perfect now you can see that right now we have these very hard edges and we can taper them by simply going under the shape and over here we have the stroke option and over here first i'm going to change the butt cap to rounded cap so that the edges are rounded we can go inside the taper and from here you can play around with the start start length and if you want to have taper from this side something like that and this is something we can play around if you want the taper on the other end as well you can do it like that now you can see we have this sort of shape but i only want it on the one end like that now we can go over here and if you want to animate this there are a couple of ways so you can either use the start and the end property like this or you can simply use this offset parameter something like that now let me just quickly do that so first i'm going to add a keyframe for the offset and let's pick somewhere around three seconds something like that now you can just simply move it to 360 or just simply set this to one like that now i can press n to have this region now if i press play you can see we have this infinitely perfectly looping animation perfect now we can select the keyframes press f9 to easy ease them now let's go to the graph and over here i'm going to select both of these values and i'm going to just lift them a little bit up in the air so let's just lift this one little bit like that and let's do the same thing over here as well now if i press play you can see we have this moving and we can probably trim the ending point like that so it is a continuous motion there you go now we have this thing now let's see how to add some colors and some really cool glow to this so first i'm going to select this and let's make this little bit bold so let's set the stroke to something like 30. you can also play around with the length of it by simply increasing the end parameter so i'm going to set this to something like 20 so that we have a little bit room for gradients as well perfect so before we continue if you enjoy watching my videos and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon make sure to check it out link for that is in the description so now let's continue so let's see how to add colors to this so first i'm going to select this and let's apply fill to this and let's drag it over here now it's completely up to you. you can pick whatever color you want i'm going to make this little bit of this dark blue sort of thing something like that perfect now we can have a little bit of 
lighter shade over here so for that i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate this now let's open this up and let's go to content and under the shape stroke we don't need any kind of taper to this so i'm going to just go to the taper and let's click on reset like that and let's close this up now we can play around with its length as well let's go to the trim path and we don't want this to be this big we basically want it to have only this region which we want to be highlighted now i'm going to change its color so let's change this to a little bit lighter sort of like this now i'm going to increase its width like that now we can change its track mat option so if you're using the newer versions of after effects then you can just simply pick whip and just select the bottom layer but if you're using the older versions then you have to just place this on top of it and after that you have to change the track mat but if you're using the newer versions then just simply select this and just pick up this one so only this region is visible but we want the stroke which is below it to be visible as well so i'm going to enable it as well like that now we can select this and on top of this one we can add gaussian blur like that now if i increase this you can see that we have this very nice gradient over here which you can play around with however you want something like this so here you can see we are able to see the gradient color perfect now there's one more thing that you can do so if i select this and let's open this up we have this property called path and let's open this path over here as well this one now you can just simply hold on the alt key and just click on this and it will create a area where you can write the expression or you can just simply pick whip and just pick whip the path which we have over here like that perfect now you can just simply change the path to however you want and all the colors and all the strokes will be applied as well now let's add more highlight to this so for that i'm going to select this and let's press ctrl d first add let's add some glow to this and in order to add the glow we don't need the track mat so i'm going to just set this to no mat like that here you can see we have the glow but it's too much so we can play around with the glow blurriness and then reduce the stroke path like that so here you can see now we are able to see the glow perfect now somewhere around here i want a very bright spot so for that we can just simply select this press ctrl d and let's place this on top of everything now i'm going to change its color to let's say white now we don't need this much color or this much white so we can play around with the length let's place it somewhere around here so that just the tip is really bright now again we can select this press ctrl d and we can just unmat or remove the track mat option let's go to the trim path over here as well and just keep it to the very edge and we can probably change its mode to add as well and after that just play around with the stroke perfect so here you can see we have this very nice bright spot now you can add an overall glow to this base layer as well so for that we can use drop shadow effect let's apply it onto this and under the colors we can pick whatever color you want so let's pick the same color which we have over here maybe a little bit lighter like that now instead of any distance i'm going to set this to zero let's just increase the softness like this so here you can see we have this very nice subtle glow on all of this layer perfect now let's add more color to this so again we can do the same thing so which we did over here so we have the color over here let's press ctrl d and let's select this and let's go inside the trim path again let's first change the color so it's completely up to you i'm going to make this little bit purple sort of shade like that now play around with its position something like this and let's change this to a little bit like that perfect now we can select this and press ctrl d first we can remove the track mat after that we can go inside the content trim path and let's 
set this to only this region and instead of this color we can probably add a little bit of variation something like that now let's select the blurriness and i'm going to increase this quite a bit so somewhere around 100 and let's decrease the stroke width as well so that we have a very subtle sort of glow over here like that so here you can see we have added these colors and the same way you can keep on adding more colors to this now there's one more thing you can select the bottom layer which we have over here you can right click and let's go to the layer style and let's add some inner glow like this and you can play around with its properties as well let's go inside the inner glow and over here we have the opacity so you can just lower it down to somewhere around let's say 30 or 40 and we have this size as well so these are completely experimental something like that and we can probably change the color so i want this to be blue as well there you go so now you can see we have a very nice outline or the inner glow over here as well perfect so this is how you can create this kind of animation and here you can see now at the end you can add a background and let's make this dark blue sort of thing and let's place it over here so there you go here you can see we have created this stroke and the best part about this animation is that if i select this layer you can see i can select the pen tool and you can just simply morph the path to whatever you want you can add new points you can delete as well so i can create a new point and let's move it over here now if i press play you can see that the stroke will follow all of these paths and you can create custom paths however you want so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one no, no.